Hey everyone, Salesforce Shorts here. In this video, we're looking at pick lists in screen flows. So let's start by creating a new screen flow. Okay, screen flow selected. I'm going to change the view just to free form so you can see all the elements that we have to drag in. Start by screen. Let's call this test and have a pick list. So we'll just start with the normal pick list. We're going to do pick the normal pick list and the multi select pick list for this video. So we'll uh, normal pick list. And then in here, we'll, so there's different choices you can create here from. So we can create our own custom choices that we want to have in the, um, in this pick list or we can use a pick list that already exists from an object so just to showcase I'll start with just a normal choice set here so we can just say let's use color so let's use green and then we have yellow and then we have blue so let's have those three choices I'm just gonna save that actually I want to add the so add the other pick list, the multi select as well, just to show how these ones work differently. So multi select pick list. Okay, <clears throat> and we can also mark this required or not. I'm just going to leave it as is for now. Then we can use these same values. Like we can, yeah. Now we can move the order around we don't have to have it in the same order but because we created these choices from the other set like these choices are already saved so it gets saved in our manager i'll go i'll go there in a second so let's just have so blue green and then we have yellow okay so here in the manager you'll see these choices that got created so it will be saved here so you can use them over and over again for different pick lists and and so on so with this here we'll only be able so the normal pick list will only be able to choose one value where with the multi select we'll be able to choose different values so let me save this and debug so we can have a look at that okay so debug to see how it looks Okay, let's run it. Okay, so here we can only select one. Where with the multi select, we can select different ones. So you have to hold in your command or control to select the, multi the multiple ones. Okay, so let's, let's now look at pick list. So I'm just gonna, let me delete this one. So we'll get a value. So we'll get the choice set from an object that already exists. So we'll create a new choice. We'll go to pick list choice set and call this um, op stage. So then we'll have a look at the opportunity stage pick list. So we can get the opportunity object data type pick list. So you can pick multi pick, multi select pick list or pick list. We're going to use the normal pick list and we get the stage name. Save that. Okay, what happened here? All right, let's just drag that in. Didn't get set there. Okay, done. Let's save and debug this now. <coughs> so now we'll be able to select all the stages that's in our object pick, uh, pick list for stage. 